Hello, we are going to connect this cheap 4-in-1 joystick from AliExpress to our Raspberry Pi that we assembled in a previous video. So I got my uh, micro HDMI to HDMI adapter connecting to a Samsung TV. Uh, we got the power supply, so that is a um, unused Chromebook power supply. Uh, but in the specifications it does say 5 volt 3 amps um, which is the minimum required for this particular model and we got the joystick connected and the keyboard um, if you need help with the setup so turning on the TV putting this power supply on okay so I had to unplug the um, joystick and the keyboard um, for it to boot. It was stuck on red solid light. There was no um, action on the green light. It, it has two light indicator lights. Um, so it could be a power issue. Um, we don't know. So I'm just going to plug the joystick in to see if something happens okay joystick lit up uh, no game has detected well yeah it wasn't so I'm gonna push the home button here we go d-pad up configuring keyboard no I don't want to configure keyboard Well, okay. Um, well, this did not work as intended. Let it reboot. And I'm going to plug the controller in. Let's see if it detects this time. Okay, one gamepad detected. Hold the button on your device to configure it. All right. A button, any button. Okay. D pad up. Nope. It's not working. One game pack game pad detected. Okay. So hold a button. All right. So I'm just going to put L, whatever. Okay. D-pad down. D-pad left. D-pad right. Uh, start. Oh, uh, should I do plus or minus? Um, there's six buttons. Um, these are like L, R. I think these are triggers there's home um, there's minus and plus I'm gonna do plus I guess start okay select I'm gonna do minus here we go button a Ooh. well there's a button named a so a B okay X north Y west okay kind of fits kind of like a on the right y on the left this is south this is if you tilt it a little bit so it's not that bad left shoulder l so there's an l button i'm going to push that l button right shoulder r okay left trigger well don't have left trigger so can I hold any button to skip? Okay, so that's good. Um, I'll skip. Okay. Uh, left thumb, right thumb, left analog up. Uh, oh no, yeah, we don't have these. 
So we're not going to emulate uh, like analog stick stuff, any of our consoles and stuff. So we don't need these. This is purely for, you know, old school arcade. Hotkey enable, so I don't know. What, uh, we can make this, so I have only two buttons left. Turbo, name TB, or the home. Um, maybe I'll do home. Hmm. Didn't take it. Turbo? Didn't take it. All right. Okay. Well, this is the initial configuration. I guess now we can uh, upload some ROMs to the card and see. All right. We're back. I try to copy files directly to the SD card uh, where the RetroPie is, uh, but that did not work because the partition the RetroPie is using for uh, ROM files is a EXT uh, file system which is not accessible in Windows so the only or not only but one of the other ways to do that is to get a uh, USB stick put the files in there and then um, find the file manager apparently that's built in Okay, I'm going to have to find the, oh, here we go, configuration the file manager. Okay, I just pushed A. File manager. Okay, so, left-hand side. How do I mount my USB? So destination should be here cool I have all these files and then the left side um, okay so it turns out we have to go to previous uh, the root folder and then go to media and USB that's how Linux works um, I should know that. Um, anyway, well, here we go. Here's some 2600 ROMs. Well, let's see the copy speed. <clears throat> so, inverse selection. Okay, just selected everything. F5, copy 1,197 files, sure, okay, done. I'm going to unplug this USB. All right. Back. B. Um, configuration. Start emulation station or system. Okay, I see. System is a whole system. Emulation station is just the software. Oh, here we go. Look at that. We got our stuff. So Mega Drive. Oh, this stupid name. Um, yeah, they were named like this. Where is my favorite splatter house? We have sound. <clears throat> oh 
Oh yes, we do. Start. 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 Let's see how the buttons are mapped. Yes, yes. A jumps, B punches, X, Y, nothing. Excellent. Tiny bit of leg. And you can hear. I wish there wasn't, but that's the fact. We can't really. Oh. How do we exit here anyway? Oh, select and start at the same time. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Well, that was success. Um, I'm just curious. Atari. Um, hmm. Oh, here we go. So select and start at the same time. So that takes it to alternate mode. Um, and then for some reason, when that's activated, it doesn't. Um, the joystick doesn't work properly. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll Co adventure. Oh, that's the one that wasn't released back in when LR Stella says Stella emulator. So, do we push start? Nope, start is not mapped to start. Not A or B. Well, that's fire button. Well, does select you anything? Nope. So interesting. So we don't know how these are mapped. So we might have to find a way to configure these. Oh. Again, so I don't know if the configure input can you do per system. No, so I'm just gonna run the scraper. Scrape now, system six selected. Sure, start. Great. Oh God, it's gonna ask one by one. Okay. Oh no. Oh. I picked the wrong one, I think. B ball. Is this the correct one? Yeah. Atari H. Well, I'm impressed. It found homebrew stuff. Ghost attack. 3D ghost attack. Uh, nope, I think this is different. I'm just gonna skip this. 3D havoc. Um, sure. New Geo. Oh, um, uh, how do we scrap this thing again? Menu start scrapper. Where's the option? Uh, only missing images. Systems. User decides on conflicts. Off. Just do whatever you can.
Um, well, I am trying to reduce the, the lag, so I'm turning off all these enhancements on the TV. Dynamic contrast. Sure, let's make it off. Color space. Native. Auto. Custom. No, it's native. Edge enhancement off. Just turned it off. Um, more importantly, I turn the digital noise reduction off, and that kind of helped, and the um, Automotion Plus 120 hertz off. It seemed to help a bit. What's this? Entertainment mode. There we go. What if we say game provides the optimal picture and sound quality for games? This mode accelerates the playing speed. 